we already knew uh, that Metulung is also very rich in archaeological materials. My name is Ntse Makhitani. I'm director of culture here in Lesotho. We were approached by the officials of the World Bank as to whether we knew anything, as to whether we could salvage anything from Medulu. And we really made suggestions that there are some uh, archaeological materials, there are some rock paintings there, there are some other um, associated um, ma uh, archaeological or heritage material within the Medulum Valley. And we suggested that they had to be salvaged. Yes, this is a, a, a painting. It is, this is an, an island. It has been done by the Bushmen. The name of this place, of the cave, is called Nkwanatshan. People were living here between uh, 55 to 60,000 years ago. Uh, my name is Retabili Mkachani. Uh, I was working here as a trainee archaeologist. here for nine months we were excavating here so we dig each and every layer in speed and then we record everything we find we find we get in that in that context things like lithics bones pottery and charcoal yeah it's, it is very interesting because I've learned something that I did not know before and then that can even protect the heritage. My name is Dibi Tamai. I'm the chief of this village called Tamachiki. In this place, this village of Hamachiki is in the area of Mitolung. Down in the river, there is a cave called Nkwanatshan. That cave has got a rock paintings. This means that uh, the Bushmen have been living here a long time ago. Uh, last year there were some people who came here to excavate in the cave. They were digging there trying to see what, what, can, what, what, what can they get. Uh, from this village there was one person who who was trained, uh, but others were from the nearest villages. So, but he was very, very satisfied with that training. We were really thrilled with uh, Metulung, the way they have approached the whole package, because uh, people are going to benefit from the water development. But we were also going to lose a lot of our cultural heritage material if that was not taken care of. And the way it has been approached, the way it has been undertaken, we were really pleased with the way the activities had been undertaken, with the identification through surveys, and then later on the actual rescue excavations. If, if the people of Metulung know that their cultural heritage have been recorded properly and they have been contacted, they have been involved, the project will stand because people will know that they, their cultural orientations have been respected and they, they have not been, you know, sidelined somehow. That is, that is a very good approach that has been undertaken. Most projects don't stand because people, you know, are just being treated as outsiders in their own area. 
but with Metulung, it is very, very moving to realize that they have been involved in 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 certain very many ways. Even the cultural uh, orientations are being considered, and that I think is brilliant.